In this demonstration, I'll show you how rules can be used to author PMI on a model. In this case, you'll see that this model is a, a single body, no features in it, and it's rather complex. It's got a number of holes, a number of uh, unique shapes. Uh, there's also no PMI that exists in the model today. And so what I can do is I can, of course, use my PMI interactive tools to author PMI, as well as now use my rules-based PMI to go in there and author PMI. So uh, I've got an insert instance that allows me to insert a rule from the rule library. I've got a define option that takes me into the logic editor environment and allows me to author rules, as well as some sample rules that I've added onto the ribbon bar here for things like size dimensions, creating primary, secondary, tertiary daemonyms, as well as uh, default tolerance. All of these rules can be found in the reuse library, delivered out of the box. We deliver a number of uh, rules, so over 30 rules out of the box as samples for various productivity workflows, as well as ways that you can, you can learn how to author your own rules to perform a number of operations. So in this case, I'm going to identify a datum, um, a datum a set of rules. In this case, I've got datums, so either a single datum, I've got multiple datums, as well as datums from color faces, uh, as well as uh, datums across faces. So in this case, I'll identify across faces, and it will uh, allow me to select a, uh, a piece of geometry. Again, it'll feel just like a rule or a command in NX, these rules. Uh, when I identify a face, select OK, it will go out and look for all coplanar faces um, along that top selected face when defining the datum. And when it does that, it added the A datum on here, uh, datum A, and uh, as I select it, you can see all of the faces highlight to reflect that. So you can think that this is, uh, if you had to do that interactively, you'd have to go in there and, and locate all those uh, faces that are coplanar and then select them all individually. The other thing is, is that it maintains associativity. So for instance, if I was to go in there and take one of the faces and just change the, uh, the height of that, uh, that face using a, a move face operation and go to the MBD navigator, which is new to uh, NX 1953, you'll notice that it lists the rules that it applied to the model. So in this case, the data feature symbol, and I can simply go in there and perform an update. And when I do the update, you'll see that it will reevaluate the coplanar faces and update that accordingly. So when I grab the datum this time, you can see how it's ignored that, uh, that face that I moved. Okay, so this is just an example of applying one rule to a part. Let's go ahead and apply some other rules. So in this case, I'll identify the feature control frame and I'll create positional tolerances for the model. Again, double click on the rule from the root, from the reuse library will allow me to kick off a particular rule command. I identify, in this case, a tolerance value, precision, material uh, modifiers, if I like. In this case, I can really control the display and the layout um, in a particular rule. I identify, uh, select a, a datum, a primary datum, and click on OK and it will go out and create all the positional tolerances for all the holes it finds in this part. Again, it's using feature recognition to locate the size of those holes and then group them uh, individually and uh, define patterns for the holes. So in the end, I will have all of the PMI that gets created. And you can see if I click on this PMI, it's identified six holes and applied a positional tolerance based on datum A. And I can go in and select any one of these. This is really just PMI. So at the end of the day, when I select uh, the rule, I can see that it's generated a lot of different feature control frames. I've also got details on the rule right here, so I can go in and I can change something. So for instance, say I wanted to change the tolerance, uh, I could just go in there and edit that value. And by hitting enter, it will go in and update all of the rules that reflect that tolerance value. So it's now going up and, and changing each one of those. And you can see that all the values have been updated to reflect that. And in this case, there were 28 holes that it created based on that, uh, that value. And I can relocate any one of these just by selecting any of the PMI. Again, they go, they're going to behave uh, just like regular PMI within the model. Okay.